How do you upload your own images into mid-journey to use in your prompts? Something I've been asked a lot lately, and we're gonna go through the process. So the idea is if I'm in mid-journey here on my desktop, I'll go through the process on phone as well. What I wanna do is I want my own private server, or if you're actually just direct messaging, you can just pop it in there. But if you don't know how to create your own server, hit the little plus symbol on the left here. It's the same if you hit the hamburg icon on your phone, and you can just create your own server. Now, to go into that server, all I've got an image here to show you what I mean, but I'm gonna go down to the plus symbol, click upload a file and choose a picture of these flames here and upload that. And then I simply hit enter to send. And now if I want to, I can right click on this image. I can start click on this image. I can right click on open original and copy the link address, which means that then if I go back into mid journey, I can paste that address in there. Now this is how you're gonna do it on your phone also. The process is very similar. I go, I'm in my uh, my server, so I simply go over here. I can either hit the plus button or I click on my server and I go to message, hit my plus symbol on the left and I can pick an image from my phone. So this time we'll choose a different flame image and I'll send that up. Now I have this image on my phone. I can press on that or tap on that and then I can go to this little share symbol top right here, click on that and then I can just copy the URL. It may or, might, may or may not be exactly the same on your phone, but you get the idea. That's pretty much how the process will look on most platforms. And now all I need to do is go into where I send my messages. I use the, the Mid Journey bot since I have a premium plan and I type in my prompt. I can paste in my image and I can say the exact same as what I have here, which is flames in front of a robot face and I've got a prompt to start with. Now I'm just gonna copy that for reference. So now what we need to do is add an image weight. So this time I'm gonna go dash dash IW for image weight. I'm gonna give it an image weight of one and press enter. And we're gonna do the exact same thing again, but with an image weight of three. And then again, we're gonna hit imagine, same prompt again, dash dash IW image weight of five press enter and we can compare how close to that image it gets. The higher the image weight, the closer the result will be to the image you uploaded, whereas the lower you actually have uh, that number, the less it references that image. So it doesn't duplicate the image, it just references it a little bit more. So let's see what results we got. Now I've popped up the original image to show you what it looked like without an image uploaded. And then I've done one where I've put the exact same prompt in with the image of the flames. And you'll notice with the image one, it, uh, it does look different, but we still sort of got all the image, image elements there. But as we go through to say image weight of three, the robot face I feel is starting to disappear. And then when you get the image weight of five, it's basically almost completely gone. So I've actually done a separate prompt, which is just to imagine the front of a robot face without even mentioning the flames. So now with an image weight of one, we've got these images here, which are very much heavily uh, face focused. As I change the image weight to three, we introduce more flames and get more flames into the image. And then when we add the image weight of five, of course, it is very much a lot of flames introduced. That is without even mentioning flames in the prompt, simply relying on the image itself. So what do you think? Uh, have a bit of a play with that if you haven't played with that before. It's a great tool, great thing to play with. And uh, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments below. Any tips you have otherwise, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.